All right, hello all. I thought I'd try something a little different. I've never done this before. Is uh, look through some of the awesome comments you guys leave me all the time. They're just amazing. And just uh, I'm going to address uh, some of the uh, questions that uh, in the latest last video I put up, the XFCE for XFCE customization in Arch Linux. And uh, TJ Wolf here. He always has some uh, great questions. He uh, gave me a whole slew this time. Um, I had a couple of questions about and Grandpa Sunar, and if I'm going to use it, um, yes, I am. Um, I am going to continue to use it until it doesn't work anymore. Uh, but you have to go through the Arch Linux user repository archive and compile it. So I have a basic virtual box running here, okay, and uh, Firefox. Uh, this is XFCE, and I bookmark the Arch Linux user repository archive. I'll post that link, and we're going to look for and Grandpa. I'll zoom in here because I can't even see that. And <laughs> Grandpa, and usually it's just one result. There it is. Okay, so in Grandpa Sooner archi archive, and download the zip file. Save, and we'll save in our downloads. Um. Just by, uh, just for something to use in the meantime, I installed the uh, file dash roller, file roller, uh, from our, the uh, Pac-Man archive. So it'll open up in file roller, which I I'm not that thrilled about in XFCE. I, I much prefer this one. That's why I use it. Um, it's okay, I guess. So there's our and Grandpa Thunar extracted. And all you do is you open a terminal inside that and just type make pkg package and dash small s. And it'll want to download the uh, runtime things and things to, so it can uh, build the package for you. But it shouldn't take too long. All right. So once it's uh, finished compiling, it uh, spits out. Uh, and I'm using a 32-bit version of this. Um, and Grandpa Sooner Sooner. <laughs> Uh, i386 but when you install 64 it'll make a 64-bit package for you uh, and if you want just if you want to install it right away just change the make package dash s to a dash i and it'll give you a little warning but just there you go it's done now I need to get the uh, sooner our archive plugin copy and other stuff is installed so sudo pacman dash capital s is an alias for pseudo pacman dash capitalist or pack it pack is an alias for that sorry so we'll get the uh, sooner archive plugin okay and I'm gonna remove uh, let's change directory uh, uh, pseudo pacman dash capital rns or pack r file dash roller because I don't need it anymore it's not very big it's not it's it's no harm but just to keep things in line so you can close that folder and uh, go to your uh, preferences, preferred. I'm not sure what comes up with. Uh... No, it doesn't. So I guess it doesn't matter. So I'll go back to the file manager where that package was downloaded. There we go. And Grandpa. Okay. An archive manager for mate, mat, mate, whatever you want to call that thing. And we have a functional. Archive manager that I like a little better personally. All right, so that's one question down. Okay, <laughs> uh, where are we? And uh, also, oh yeah, the GTKRC. You just okay for that? You just you have to look for one. Um, so right now I don't have one in here. Okay, and it's just people make them. Okay, so I don't know anything about the, how to make the coloring or anything proper. So you just uh, open your web browser and go to whatever you're using. Uh, where am I here? Sorry. Uh, whisker. Whisker menu. New mix. For example. Seeming to match. Uh, there's the creator's blog. And he gives you some examples. There you go. There's one there. 
and another one, and another one, and another one. So all you do is just take what he's got here and throw it into the .gtkrc 2.0 file that you have to make if you don't have one, that's all. So there's dark and just pick one. Uh, say the last, you see, make sure, yep, wait. Uh, so I'll just pick, I'll just pick the last one. I'll copy and uh, let's open, uh, I think I have LeafPad installed. Yep, paste that in. Now since I don't have a .gtkrc, I'll just uh, save as in your home folder .gtkrc-2.0. Uh, Press enter, close that, close out everything, and then log out. and log back in there you go there's a one way to seam it okay and like just look through for examples okay i hope that uh, makes sense to you okay uh the next was on the system tray basically and clipman and um it's just basically what package you have installed so i don't have network manager installed so sudo pacman dash capital s network sorry work uh, one word manager there we go and then we need the applet once that downloads and installs uh, network manager and I just changes to dash network dash manager dash I believe it's applet And then once that's done, you just do a sudo system CTL enable, uh, it's a capital N network manager service. And all that stuff will be on uh, log, probably reboot's a better thing. And Clipman, I can never remember the name, it's, uh, I always do a search for it, like Clip, I think it's Clipman. There it is. XFCE4, it's from the goodies, so. XFCE4 uh, dash clipman dash plugin and we'll tack on the pack to install. Uh, so we'll get out of the terminal and you go to our uh, probably in accessories now. There's clipman. Once I click it, he'll show up in the uh, taskbar. There he is in the system tray. And then if you want that loading at startup, you just go to your system settings uh, session and startup. There's already a pre-configured one there, so you just click, tick the box, and close. And I'll uh, reboot, and you should see the uh, network manager uh, in the tray as well. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so there we go. There's the clipboard, clip main plugin. This is a network manager applet. It'll look different depending on the theme, okay? So like I have a different theme, and this is a uh, wireless. So it looks different, uh, and so does the clip man itself here, okay? And the last question was about uh, uh, syncing uh, your theme settings to GitHub. I have a video on that. Uh, I'll have to, I'll just answer you back and post that, and hopefully that'll help you out with there, okay? So great questions there. Thanks, TJ. And John, uh, thank you uh, for commenting, and I uh, appreciate it. And... Uh, he had received an answer, and uh, an Arch Linux LXDE could run on a 15-year-old hardware PC, probably. I don't doubt it. Um, as far as the minimum specs, the Arch Linux, uh, uh, if you go to the, just the beginner's guys, that, or I'll, I'll also just go to that. <laughs> uh, beginner's guide. Arch uh, should, should, should run on an i686, so that's what I've purposely installed this for to answer this question even though my system is a 64 bit so it's going to use the processor power no matter what I try to do it's still a 32 bit architecture so if I go to your system monitor you can see I inside in a I signed a swap file it hasn't kicked in yet and I seven um, 
whatever, 768, and it's using 133 megs of RAM. You see the CPU is pretty busy, but again, it's still a 64-bit underlying. So it gives you an idea. So I guess I could suggest to try it in a virtual box to get an idea. And as you can see here, it's, it's running fairly well. I've installed packages, and I can run a web browser and media applications and it's it's doing fairly well but of course it's going to get completely different on actual hardware <laughs> so it's it's, it's uh, tough to say but this you can go as uh, if it seems too heavy using XFCE uh, I guess you can go to open box and you can make that look pretty cool actually and uh, back to the uh, page here it's at 256 megabytes of RAM minimum and 8880 80, 800 megs of space if you just install from the base group, but I would, you can still install the base dash devel as well to download packages from the Arch Linux user repository or what I was showing you uh, just earlier, just now uh, from the archive and actually compile them. Okay, I hope that helps you out. That's about all I would know. I, I don't have a an older machine kicking around while well, it's in parts probably <laughs> somewhere, uh, but I guess it would give you an idea. So that's a great question. I uh, thank you. Okay, skipping down a bit uh, from the QEM video, uh, Sergio. Uh, thank you so much, Sergio. Um, I wish I could comment back to you, but I, if you see here, I can't reply to you. Like here, there's no reply button. Only if I see it in uh, uh, Google Plus. But thank you so much for your great support. And you're, you're very kind. And you're asking about uh, a GUI for uh, Samba, I believe. Uh, yeah, Samba. I'm not sure if there's a GUI. I'm sorry. Uh, not right now. I'll, I'll look into it, and uh, if I find one, I'll post a video on it uh, for you. Okay? And do I have any experience with KVM GPU? I wish I did. Uh, I don't have another video card to use uh, to start with. Uh, I know my system can do that, but uh, I don't have, if I had another GPU, I would definitely look into it and uh, post a video. And thank you so much, uh, Leonardo, for that. Garth, is always, he's great. Everybody knows Garth, right? <laughs> Thanks, Garth. Um, icon team, well, yes, uh, our, our ultra flat is usually what, what um, I use. And... Uh, Toolbar looks awesome. Uh, does it come from some window manager? And basically, it's uh, the video I just posted explaining that. So you inspired me to uh, make that video. All right, and back to the top, David. Uh, thank you. Um, always look, always look forward uh, to your posts, especially Arch posts. Yeah, uh, they're a lot of fun to do. And uh, thumbs up, and I'll say uh, I'll post you in a, a little bit. And thank you so much, David. Uh, Lawrence asking me. I mean, telling me that my mic, yeah, I know, I'm sorry, it's a, it's a really cheap microphone, just, you know, Best Buy thing for nine bucks or something, <laughs> uh, plugged into my tower desktop, and what happens is uh, when I make video edits or sometimes the, the headphones come loose, I can't get it back to the position I had it when I speak, so the volume's all over the place, and I don't have a pop screen, obviously, it's just a cheap microphone. And yeah, uh, I just looked at Pantheon, and it still uh, looks pretty much the same as what I uh, recently did in the video. Uh, thank you, uh, Gearhead. Awesome. That's a cool avatar. Okay, so you have a, okay. Um, font running make look like Ubuntu. Well, I have a video on. Um, I'll post or reply to you. Uh, video on uh, in finality font bundle that you can get in Arch Linux and it's pretty neat I think the fonts look pretty cool on the system here they look pretty close to the Ubuntu ones but you can install them from the Arch Linux uh, from Pac-Man sorry in Arch Linux and uh, change it through whatever you're using for a font manager and uh, the in finality font bundle will um, instantly pick that up and uh, change it over I hope that helps you out there. And racing the web, always great to hear from you. Thank you. And yeah, the whisker menu thing, as I uh, just mentioned, um, from TJ. 
and thank you everybody uh it's just so much uh so many comments sometimes i just can't get to them all in a day i've been working on uh another uh chromixium inspired uh iso that i uploaded uh, back in may or something of this year i think <laughs> and uh i've got it but i just have to upload it so i'll let you know when that's uploaded as well so yeah, that takes up a lot a good portion of uh the time uh, compiling and trying it out, trial and error, basically, through that. All right, so I hope you enjoy this video. It's something a little different, and uh, I can't thank you guys enough for your support and your awesome questions and comments and helping everybody out. It's just, it's just amazing, and I'm always amazed by it. Okay, so uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you very soon. And take care. Bye for now.